In this question part, Bill invests his $9,000 into an account that pays an interest rate of R% per annum compounded monthly. We have to find the minimum value of R that is needed for Bill to reach his target of $20,000 in 10 years. As I mentioned in my solution to question part A, here we'll use the built-in financial application that you have on your calculator. To open this application, we'll press Apps and choose Finance, so option number 1. Within this application, we'll choose number 1, the TVM Solver. Let's enter the data based on the information that is given in the question. And the number of years is 10. We are looking for the percentage, so for now, we'll leave it at 0. PV, the present value, is $9,000. And if we want to be completely correct here, we need to enter this present value as a negative number, so negative 9000. We'll leave PMT at 0, and we'll set the future value at 20,000. P slash Y can remain as 1, and since here we are compounding monthly, we'll set C slash Y at 12, because there are 12 months in a year. We want to calculate the interest rate, so we'll scroll up to I% and to find the solution here, we'll press alpha, enter. We are told in the question that R is given to two decimal places, and since we are looking for the minimum value of R that will allow Bill to reach his target, instead of rounding to 8.01, we round up to 8.02. Therefore, R is equal to 8.02. If you write down 8.02 for R, you get full marks on this question, even without showing any working. However, if you make a mistake when using your calculator and only write down the result, you can easily end up with zero marks. If you want to make sure that you get some marks for your working, this is what you can do. Simply write down what you see on your calculator screen. Therefore, the working out for this question might look like this. Writing this list down will allow you to get some method marks even if your final answer is incorrect. Therefore, my exam-taking tip here is that when you're using the finance application on your calculator to solve a compound interest question, write down what you see on your calculator screen in this application as you're working out, because doing so will earn you method marks even if your final answer is incorrect.